Welcome to 3 Minute Pro. If you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button below. This is the Nikon F60, also known as the Nikon N60 in the US. It was introduced in 1998 and it's an autofocus 35mm SLR. There really isn't much wrong with it, but there are much better alternatives available. This button turns the camera on and you can see there is shutter speed and aperture readout at the top. You use this thumb wheel at the back to change settings. Here I'm changing the aperture in aperture priority. If I set it to manual, then I will set the shutter speed using the wheel, but to change the aperture, I have to press this button at the same time, and then I can change the aperture. This button sets the exposure compensation. On the top left of the camera you can see all the exposure modes. You've got manual, aperture priority, shutter priority and program. A full auto mode, portrait, landscape, close up, sports and night scene mode. This button here sets the self timer. This button here opens up the flash. When you're in low light this lamp here at the front comes on and that helps autofocus. When you're in low light there's no way of turning this off. So here's the button here for setting manual and autofocus. This button allows you to remove the lens. It uses the Nikon F mount which allows you to fit lenses go all the way back to 1977 although not all of them function properly with the camera. You need to choose a lens that allows the focus motor in the camera to move the focus in the lens. I recommend uh, lenses with a D uh, suffix, they, those are called AFD lenses. On the base of the camera you can see the tripod mount and there's this section here for the battery. It takes CR123 batteries, they're not commonly available in the shop so you'll have to buy them on eBay. This button here works with a flash. It allows you to set things like uh, red eye reduction and slow sync flash. The F60 has matrix metering with light being measured across six areas of the image. Just here is the auto exposure lock. Sometimes you'll have a subject that might be very heavily backlit and the way to make sure you get the exposure correct is to point the camera at the subject, press this down to hold the exposure and then reframe the subject and uh, you'll get the correct exposure. Loading film is really straightforward. Push this button and that opens the back and then you just pop the cassette in there like that, pull the film across to here to make sure that it meets this red mark just there. As long as it meets that red mark then you just close the back and once you seal that it'll wind on to the first frame. There are several drawbacks with this camera. You can see that's quite a noisy motor wind and you can only use it on continuous firing when you're in the sports mode and that's incredibly slow. You can't manually set the ISO for the film you've loaded. It's DX coding only and if there's no DX marking on the film container it defaults to ISO 100. The workaround if you want to expose your Portra 400 at 200 ISO or whatever other settings you prefer is to use exposure compensation. So I would set plus one for exposure compensation when I put in Portra 400 here. Nikon's marketing strategy was that you would have to buy a bigger, heavier, more expensive camera such as the F80 if you wanted access to basic settings like adjusting ISO. The camera has only one focus sensor in the centre. The equivalent Canon from the same year, the EOS 300, had seven focus points. The Nikon F60 had a new lease of life in 2000 as the basis for the Fujifilm FinePix S1 Pro. Other than that, it's not at all memorable. 
There really isn't much wrong with the camera. It provides decent metering and all the necessary exposure modes. Its downfall is that it's big and heavy, not great on the autofocus spec, and the film wind on is practically useless. I'd suggest that instead of this, you go for the tiny Nikon F55, which is not perfect, but smaller and a better spec, as well as being cheaper. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.